Hi, this is Pastor Wes Johnson uh, for another vlog on living in uncertain times. In fact, this is going to be the last vlog I do uh, in this series. Uh, I was planning on, on going on through the month of June, but uh, I'm going to stop it here. And I want to take a little time uh, in this vlog to talk about transitions. And, and certainly in uncertainty, there's, there needs to be transitions. Uh, what has been the old is no longer something that we can, we, we can do. We need to move on to the new. The Bible talks about this in marriage, talks about how uh, a man and a woman, as they look at getting married, need to let go of the old, of the family of origin, and then move on to the new so they can start their own family. And in a lot of things, that, that is so much the case, to know that, that God is the one who helps us in that transition. You know, it, I have had the opportunity of doing many transitions, and um, they're not always easy, no doubt about that. There's blessings and there's difficulties. Uh, in fact, the shirt that I'm wearing here, it's kind of backwards to you, but it's um, open hearts, open minds, open doors, the United Methodist motto. And it says, United Methodist Church, Staples, Minnesota. We were in Staples for eight years. I was able to pastor the church there, had have many great friends. Uh, it was a time period in our lives that our, our boys kind of grew up in the Staples area and the Staples school system, and they both graduated from the Staples school and that always will be home to them and and we had to leave that in fact at that time we left not only the community and the church we left uh, my my mother-in-law who was in staples had come to staples while we were there was in assisted living um, had health issues and couldn't really move with us and so we we spent the the, the year as we moved from staples to marshall uh, kind of going back and forth so there was kind of a transition period uh, for us as we kind of stayed a little bit connected that way but we had to move on to Marshall and and so and that was you know new good things that were happening there but we had to say um, a goodbye to the old as well I'm at that point of life again um, and I just want to say uh, just a, a word of thanks to the churches that I have been serving for five years Jeffers and Red Rock and Methodist churches. We we thank you for this time. It was a time of transition for us as we were we knew that we were moving into the Grace Cube ministry that God had called us to. We just didn't know how long it was going to be, and it ended up being five years. And it has been a wonderful time of transition. We have we we treasure the friendships and um, and I don't know that uh, we just totally leave those friendships. We certainly um, will. Um, stay a little bit in contact um, with you as well. So, it's, but it's a new period, and and we have to say goodbye to the old, and and that's an important part of living in uncertainty and moving on to the to the next stage or part of our journey, is we have to say goodbye to the old, and we have to kind of cut that off so that we can live truly into the new. And I've learned that in the churches, I've had to really kind of cut those relationships somewhat, um, and and. Uh, I'm no longer the pastor of that church anymore, and I move on into the new. And in certain uncertainty, that's what we need to do. We need to 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 stop those things that that we have to let go of and start the things now that God is moving us into. And, and so that's an exciting thing for us as we go into Grace Cube Ministries. We're looking forward to seeing what God does. And in order for that to fully happen, um, it's we need to say. This is the time that we're gonna we're gonna stop this relationship and 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 so uh, it's with sadness uh, that Pam and I do that. But we are excited for you as churches. I know Red Rock, you are closing, but it's a new opportunity for you as congregation of people to to now look at other churches. And, and some of you will be coming to the Jeffers Church, and that's wonderful. Others will have other places that you, that you feel like God is leading you into. And, and so it's kind of like seed that's being spread out. Um, yes, no longer at Red Rock Church, but now being spread out to other churches and building up those churches as we add um, help in those areas for those churches. And so it's a time to celebrate that. And for the Jeffers Church, a, a new joining together, the Lamberton Church, and what God has in store for you there, and Pastor Kathy Hoffbeck coming in and, and, and being your pastor and the exciting possibilities uh, that she brings and the experience that she, uh, abilities and, and her life experiences that she brings um, will be a great blessing. And, and I, I trust the Lord. I know the Lord is a part of all this transition and look forward to seeing how God will bless. 
And, and so I just want to um, close this vlog and this times of vlogs of living uncertainty with a, a prayer of, of thankfulness to God, but also a prayer um, of, of really dedicating all of us uh, into the Lord's hands, into the next part of each of our journeys. So let us pray. Gracious God, I do give you thanks for the, the five years of the journey of my life that you have given to both Pam and I in the, both the Jeffers and the Red Rock churches. I, I praise you, Lord God, for the, the relationships, uh, the times of, of, of laughter and of blessing, but also even the times of tears and, and of, of hardship and difficulty that we have gone through. Lord God, I pray for their future. I pray for those in Red Rock as they, they move to other congregations and, and spread, Lord God, your ministry into those. And for the Jeffers Church as it kind of um, takes another step in their journey with um, Pastor Kathy and I uh, pray for your blessing upon her and anointing upon her as she ministers um, in that setting and in the Lamberton setting. Lord God, in all these changes, you are the one who is sovereign. You are the one who helps us and walks us through the transitions, and we trust that this is in your plan and your purpose. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings on you. Peace and towels, Pastor Wes.